CNN exclusive reporting shows that Navy Federal Credit Union has the widest disparity, the widest disparity in conventional mortgage approval rates between white and black borrowers of any major lender. This is the nation's largest credit union. It serves military members, defense personnel, veterans, and their families. And CNN's Renee Marsh found that it rejected more than half its black conventional mortgage applicants last year. But it really is a nice neighborhood, you know. Baba Tandi, a Kenyan immigrant turned Texas entrepreneur, knew this was his dream home the moment he saw it. It's in a highly sought-after school district that his son so desperately wanted to attend for its basketball program. So how many homes did you look at before you found this one and said this was it? We had about six, but this was the one that we, we all wanted, and yeah. we were all praying to get this one. Otandi's first choice for his mortgage was Navy Federal Credit Union. It services military members, defense personnel, veterans, and their families, and is the largest credit union in the country. I was the CEO of my company, so I had a pretty good income. Your credit was in the 700s. Mm -hmm. You had recently sold your house. Mm -hmm. You had $100,000 for the down payment, which was more than 20 percent. Correct. I mean, one more could we ask for? CNN reviewed Otandi's financial documents. He even had a pre-approval letter from Navy Federal in hand, but just two weeks before closing. They got a denial. They sent me a letter saying, we are sorry, but your application has been denied. Were you st stunned, surprised? I mean, I was stunned. I was shocked. I was hurt. The denial letter listed excessive obligations in relation to income as the reason. When they denied is when we came back and said, oh, man, there's something else going on. And what did you think that something else was? A discrimination. But it wasn't just a tondi. Thousands of other black applicants were also rejected. According to a CNN analysis of federal consumer protection data, last year, Navy Federal Credit Union only approved 48 percent. That's less than half of its black applicants for conventional home mortgages. White borrowers were approved more than 75 percent of the time. It's the biggest gap among the top 50 lenders. The data also shows Navy Federal was more than twice as likely to deny black mortgage applicants than white ones, even when different variables, including income, debt, property value, and down payment percentage, were the same. I feel validated at one point, but also I feel a bit of anger, anger because it shouldn't be happening. Two weeks after Navy Federal rejected him, another bank approved Atandi for a mortgage. Navy Federal Credit Union denied CNN's request for an on-camera interview. In a statement, it said it is committed to equal and equitable lending practices and that CNN's recent analysis does not account for major criteria required by any financial institution to approve a mortgage loan. That includes credit scores, which are not public. Navy Federal declined to provide additional data. We asked Navy Federal why Bob Otandi's loan was denied, but they declined to comment, citing member privacy. CNN's analysis does not prove discrimination, but it does show dramatic racial disparities in who Navy Federal rejects and approves for conventional mortgage loans. The black-white homeownership gap and the Latino-white homeownership gap today are both wider than they were in 1968 when we passed the Federal Fair Housing Act. Lisa Rice has spent decades as a fair housing advocate. She says the disparities in Navy Federal's lending data are alarming and an extreme example of a bigger problem. It's definitely a larger systemic issue. And we know that we have a long history of redlining and a long history of lending discrimination in this nation. Well, all of that, that data that is sort of tainted with bias is being used to develop the credit scoring systems. We got the house, thank God, and we moved on. But what about the ones who are denied? What about the ones who now don't, can't get their own dream house? It's something that's going to affect the generation all the way down to their kids. Well, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which oversees consumer lending, uh, says that they do not comment on specific institutions, but they do conduct their own investigations to ensure that banks and credit unions are following fair lending practices, Jake. Well, what should people do if they think they have been discriminated against? 
Well, you have your local housing and urban development, uh, as well as the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Those are two agencies in which you should file a complaint if you feel you've been discriminated against. I've had people reach out to me since we filed this story and said, should we avoid uh, putting any demographic information on our documents? And the downside of that is that we then no longer have that data to track like we did with this story today. Fascinating stuff. Renee Marsh, thank you so much. Horrible.